Today I'm looking at an app called Artset. Hi everyone, Steve Elliott here again. Today I'm looking at an app called Artset. This was recommended to me by somebody called Michelle Higgs. So I thought I'd give it a try. I had a look at the app and I thought, wow, this is awesome. Um, I downloaded it and um, the full app looks wicked. The uh, free app, which is the one I downloaded because I'm a cheapskate, of course, and didn't want to pay the money. Um, not so. It's still pretty good, but the, it is the most restricted app I've ever tried. So if we uh, start looking at it, if we look at, click on this uh, pencil tool, bottom left, you can see all the uh, tools that we have. We have a coloured pencil, a felt pen, uh, and dead easy to select. You just select them. Um, there's a pencil, ballpoint pen. That's going to look fairly similar, I suppose. Wax crayon and oil paint. This is now. This is what impressed me. Let me change the colour because um, we need to see that thick paint. So I think that is, that's pretty cool. The watercolour brush, um, I think it actually does a good job of watercolour, but um, lots of limitations with it. And one or two others. So, okay, that's like your um, set of tools, but you can go to the library and you can see we have all of these chalk um, brushes, pastel brushes, markers, and all of them are locked. Go to the, oh, we just got one oil paint, we've got all of these others, and there's no ink brushes available, they're all locked out, your stamps are locked out, which I, I wouldn't be too fussed about. Um, there should be the set of watercolour brushes, I would like to have tried more than the one, uh, so that's really unfortunate. We have adjustments as well so if i go to adjustments we can see they're locked as well so i can't change the size i've got my pen on there now it won't change it can't change the opacity or anything so everything's locked to one size brush and those uh few selections which at, at this stage would be very similar to using uh, paper by 53 there's no layers available in this version uh, but the biggest i've never seen a limitation like this before if i go to colors you can see i have these colors available or i choose this uh, icon at the bottom here and we have a palette that looks like a kid's palette so that's a bit, I thought, oh, well, okay, let's see what we can do with that. So I clicked on the adjust and look, it's locked. I can't change any colors. So, um, all we have is these favorite colors. So I assume you can build, you can create palettes if you buy the full version. Finally, we have this little plus icon at the bottom, um, center, I suppose, of the menu where we've got some more edit options, like we can create layers and, the, there's an eyedropper for picking colours and a flood fill and so on. All of those are locked apart from the clear icon, which is quite useful. So I'll select that. The other nice thing about what I did like about this, if I do choose one of these others, say Alpha Lock, it gives me the opportunity to upgrade and I can unlock everything for £9.99. That's UK pounds, which I think is nice. They're not sort of saying... You get one tool for 90p and you can unlock another one. You get everything for 9.99, which I suppose is a, a, you know, a fair price for the amount of tools you are going to get. So, um, what I want to do now is see if I can produce a painting that uses, um, all, uh, I'm going to use not all the colors, but I'm going to use these. Limited palette colors because that's all I can use. I haven't got a, a choice to change any of them. And I'm going to use the oil paint brush and I'm going to see if I can produce a painting by um, mixing colors. So, say for example, I choose a, I don't know, a creamy color. I've got the oil paint there and I can mix them on the canvas like that. So, I'm going to see if I can produce a painting 
with this app with that really limited palette. So here goes, let's see how I do. I'm using the default canvas size here because I don't think I can change it at all. But what is nice, I was able to split the screen. You can't do that in every app. Um, so that is really nice because I've got my source photo on the left hand side, uh, which I can view. So I don't need uh, a reference photo window within the app. I can use that. And I went straight in with this oil paint. And as you can see, you can only, I can only use those re restricted colors in the palette. And I'm using this thick oil paint brush to dab on these. Uh, thick strokes and, and create these clouds and I'm blending them out by just adding more paint and I'm just using that one brush at the minute I I use throughout this painting I use extensively that oil paint brush and I also use the um, I think it was the uh, chalk brush as well I um, might have been the pastel brush just to get a little bit more detail in so you can see this is a really quick sketch. I just wanted to see if I could do anything using these colors. But I think you could do, I mean, if you bought the, the full app, you could do a really cool rendition of a, a Van Gogh painting uh, with those thick brush strokes. They are really awesome. And I'm really tempted to buy it. I'm just a little bit uh, put off the fact that they've restricted so many things to try. Because I would love to try the ink and the um, watercolours just to see how they perform. Because this could be a real contender for Art Rage, uh, for the sort of paintings that I do in Art Rage. The, the version I downloaded, by the way, if you go to the App Store, because this is on the iPad, uh, this is Art Set 4. And there's four or five, well, maybe three or four different flavours of this to download. And I didn't. The only, I think the only free one was Art Set 4, so I went with that one. I don't know what the difference is with some of them. I know, like, the Pro version is only £6 to buy that, but if you buy everything in this, it's nearly £10. So I don't know what the deal is there. Uh, so you'd have to sort of uh, look at them all and see which was best for you, I, I suppose, if you wanted to buy them. I'm really thinking that I might have a dabble with this and... and um splash out the money because that thick brush does look pretty cool doesn't it really gives you the impression of those thick paints um working with a restricted palette like that i've never done that before where i've had to use just a, a set of colors that um were like you'd bought from the local uh pound store or something with in a little plastic card and it felt like that uh, but it was really fun to do and I enjoyed it. Uh, but the brush really sort of made it for me. So that is it. That is a really quick look at Art Set. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, a big thumbs up as always is much appreciated. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing because I have lots of videos like this and I would love to be sharing them with you. So hopefully I will see you in the next one. Bye.